Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Hello, in today's video I'm going to show you how I solder the headers on the Raspi inspiring straight eight strips so that they can join together as a nice flush fit like this. It isn't difficult, but there's a couple of tricks, so I'm going to show you that now. Once you open the packet, you'll see there is a LED strip with eight LEDs on, a male header, and a female header. I like to have the male header at the input side, which is next to LED 0, and the female header at the output side. I bend the legs on the female header so that they're at 90 degrees, and the male header is modified slightly so that the plastic is pushed all the way as far as it can go onto the pins and then later on once it's soldered we'll remove it altogether. As you can see underneath there is no plastic. This enables us to get everything lined up in, in a really good way so that it can fit together nicely and if you want to you can stick a blob of glue under the female header so that it stays firmly pressed to the board. To modify the female header you just pick it up and roll it on a firm surface, making sure not to go too far. There you go. Might go slightly further. And there you have a nice 90 degree bend. For the male header, I'm going to get the pliers out and squeeze each pin so that the plastic is pushed all the way to the end. You don't have to do this, but it's it's a way that I find makes it work well. Now it's time to attach the headers. So we're going to push this side through the holes and then once we've finished soldering and it's firmly attached, we're going to use a pair of pliers to pull the plastic off. We can't do that before, otherwise the alignment of the pins will be all off. So we we'll push that through. Okay, we'll see how that goes. And at the other end, we will have the pins sticking up and going through the holes. I can get that lined up correctly. Now we've got everything in place. You can see the pins sticking up through the holes on both sides and you can see the black plastic sticking out there which we're going to pull off in that direction once we've finished soldering. So now it's time to do the soldering. Notice that I like to put both ends in because it helps to get the alignment of everything right and you get the right height. So now I'll give you a close-up of the soldering. So the bottom pin is 5 volts. The top one is data in. This one is ground, so it might need a little more heat than the others before it flows nicely because there's a big ground plane on the board. Okay, and this one is clock, which is for the SPI clock. Alright, so they are soldered now. Although the ground one looks like it could do with a little more on that side. Okay, that's satisfactory now. Okay, let's go to the other end. Make sure it's lined up reasonably well. Okay, now let's do the other end. Five volts. And at this point we can check is it lined up reasonably well. It's not bad. So let's do data out. Okay, clock out. Uh, 
and ground. Okay. Now we should be good to go. At some point, if this flexes too much, you may decide to stick a dob of glue in between that in between the connector and the PCB. That's fine. I found Gorilla Glue's excellent for that process. But you then have to clamp it for a few hours. But it works really well. Having finished the soldering, we then want to pull off the plastic which you can do with pliers and a little force, it's not. Okay, it just comes off reasonably easy. You might have to be slightly firm with it to start with, just to break the seal in case you melted the plastic a bit onto the pins when you did the soldering, but then you end up with a joint like that which can neatly fit into another board like that. So that wasn't hard was it? And now our board is ready to test and ready to use. So on the on the driver board you've got 5 volts ground, clock and data and on these boards on the inspiring strip you've got 5 volts ground, clock and data so that fits neatly into there and then we can fire up the Pi and see if it works properly. So as you can see the strip we just soldered up is now working perfectly on the Pi with the driver board. So it's a fairly straightforward process you just have to remember if you want to do it exactly the way I do you have to move the plastic on the male header and bend the pins on the female but there's lots of different ways you could do it you don't have to do it my way the whole idea of it inspiring is that it's a flexible system and you do it the way you want to. So have fun with yours. This was Alex Eames from raspi.tv. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.